what do you think that Kubrick saw in you, I mean, to ask you to play the part in uh, The Killing? Oh, man, man, maybe what I know now of life, maybe, maybe the confusion that obviously you must feel meeting me and talking to me, eh? Uh, why is a man a hoodlum, uh, a two-bit hood, eh? Uh, maybe the... The weakness, uh, which is part of it, uh, it takes a certain weakness to, to be a, to be a, to be a crook as well as as courage of a funny. I don't know. Everything's confused, isn't it? Hmm? And maybe he felt. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, he felt he could get something. To tell you the truth, I don't really know. I do know that when Kubrick came to town, my agent Bill Schifrin called me and he said, "There's some." weirdo out here from New York who's supposed to be a bloody genius, and he's got a script that uh, that uh, people think is great, he said, but some of us know better. Uh, he said, uh, he said, and the trouble with this script is that he tells everything five times from five different points of view, and he mentioned the, the film Rashomon, remember? Mm -hmm. And, um, and I liked, uh, I, I liked very much watching, uh, I liked, I liked Kubrick, he was sort of cold then, but something told me, because I'm not entirely as stupid as I make out, maybe, uh, I respected him, eh? and I liked the way he shot, hmm? and um, I loved the way the camera was always moving, hmm? and uh, we were moving, everything was moving, and um, and I had a pretty good time on that picture. I had a great time with Elisha Cook, I had a great time with everybody, as I remember it. Hmm? Did you share your agent's opinion of the script when you read it? Well, at that point, I, I half the time I would work and not even know what the script was. I'd, I'd read the part and figure if there was, if I could perhaps get away with doing it hmm? but in terms of somebody said to me hey Hayden here's a million bucks tax free to tell us what happened <laughs> I couldn't tell you well I guess I'm not the one to say I, 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 I've seen very little of myself on film usually because I feel uncomfortable in what I see even when it's good even when it, what passes for being good uh, I guess the story I've told more often than any is uh, when I worked with uh, Kubrick and Strange Love. And Lord knows uh, it was a magnificent picture. We all know that. And apparently I pulled my weight in it. But I went through the worst day of my life, the first day on that picture, because I began to blow in my, in my lines. And I went 48 takes at Shepperton Studio. And uh, I had the cigar and all the dialogue, the military jargon, you know. And I'm beginning to blow and blow and blow. And something said to me, sure, I'd had trouble before, you know, talking about eight takes, 10 takes, 12 takes, huh? But now we're getting up into 20, huh? And now we're doing, as you know, what are called pickups. And I can't even do one damn line. Eh? And I'm pouring sweat, and they're mopping me off. Now, a beautiful thing happened, speaking of Stanley Kubrick. I finally got up. I couldn't take it anymore. And I walked up to him, and I said, Stanley, I apologize to you. And he said this to me. One of the loveliest things any man has ever said to me in my life. He said, Sterling, I know you can't help what's going on, and you know I can't help you. He said, but the terror... And your eyes, on your face, may just be the quality, and now he said, he said, the quality that we want in this jackass General Jack Ripper. He said, if it is not, come back in another couple of months and we'll do it all over again. Uh -huh. Now, that was lovely, wasn't it? I'll never forget that. Uh -huh. And I came back, I went out with Kitty uh, across from Brown's Hotel there, and uh, had, uh, I don't know, maybe what, have two or three double shots of black label, and went back and no, pot, 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 pot. Huh? it worked out. Hmm? <sighs> That's the inverse acting. Hmm? Eh? 